Welcome to another Fusion 360 manufacturing quick tip. In this quick tip, we'll take a look at one of my favorite programming time savers, derived operations. Derived operations allow you to create a new operation that maintains the geometry selections and any applicable cutting or linking parameters from the existing operation, cutting down on time spent manually changing parameters for each and every operation. For example, I have a 2D adaptive clearing operation to rough out this pocket where I've selected the pocket geometry and set the tool orientation. To quickly create a finishing operation for the pocket, I can select Create Derived Operation from the context menu. This lets me choose any 2D operation to create. In this case, I'll select a 2D pocket. Now I can verify that my geometry selection and tool orientation were maintained and make any tweaks if needed. And voila! My finishing toolpath is created without needing to revisit those selections. This example might have been simple, but you can imagine if I had selected many pockets how much time this might save. One of my favorite applications of derived operations is using it to quickly explore multiple 3D finishing strategies. I have this existing parallel operation, but if I want to see what some other options will look like, I can create them quickly using derived operations. It's worth noting that sometimes not all parameters line up from operation to operation. So if I derive a 3D contour from this parallel, the step over parameter in the parallel doesn't exist in the 3D contour, which has a step down parameter instead. In this case, the default value is used in the derived operation. You might have noticed that it's only possible to derive operations of the same type, 2D to 2D and 3D to 3D. This is due to how toolpaths are calculated on the back end, and while it may seem like a bit of a bummer, I haven't run into many cases where it slowed me down. I hope you start using derived operations if you weren't already. Be sure to like this video if it was helpful and subscribe for more. See you next time.